Hi everyone and welcome to the Long Distance Chronicles. My name is Maddie, my boyfriend's name is Chris, and he lives in New York. Today I'm just going to be talking and eating ice cream, ice cream sandwich, <laughs> so stay tuned. And I'm sitting in the middle of my kitchen in a chair because why not? These things are so hard to open. Like they're so good. They're so delicious. But the like the way that they open it, it just makes it like like super hard. And it's like really, do we have to be this complicated to open up an ice cream sandwich? Wow. But it's a really nice day. It's like 85 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Um for all of us United States people who use the Fahrenheit system. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so it's 85 out. I just took two exams for nursing school. They went relatively well. So yeah, so I'm sitting in the middle of the kitchen and rewarding myself by eating an ice cream sandwich because why not? Mm. <laughs> mm. This is so good. I think ice cream sandwiches are like literally my favorite ice cream bar over like, I don't know, what are the other ones that have like crunch, crunch bars, drumsticks, like I like these ones over all those other ones. Comment below, what's your favorite ice cream type bar, you know, whether you like the ones that are like like I like those ones too where there's like the chocolate, the hard chocolate on the outside. It makes a really nice crunchy sound when you bite into it. Comment your favorite ice cream bar below. I'd love to know. So some of you are probably like, where's Chris in all your videos? And that's a great question. I wonder where he is too. Just kidding. No, I don't wonder where he is. <laughs> I know where he is. <laughs> but he is not really in these videos because he is in New York way across the country so we can't physically film together and he's as some of you may know he is an EMT or emergency medical technician and he works really long shifts you know like 12 to 24 hours sometimes more so by the time he gets home he's exhausted sometimes he doesn't even have time to eat let alone cook so that's where he is um, he's probably either at work eating quickly or sleeping. That's what he does most of the time. Um, that's kind of life where he's at right now. Um, it's okay. It works out. <laughs> um, so he's tired and I get it. I'll probably eventually have similar lifestyle shifts like he does. I'm really like I don't know. I'm like really a night person. So I feel like I would do, could do like night shifts. I don't know why. Waking up in the morning early is hard for me. So I definitely feel like I could be a night shift person. This is so good. melting though which is kind of disgusting <laughs> it's so good I really want another one but I feel like I shouldn't but actually I have an idea so I bought this ice cream at the store called Talenti Gelato. It's called, I don't know if you can see it, but it's called Talenti, Talenti Gelato, sea salt caramel. And my friend recommended it to me. So I actually haven't opened it yet. So I'm going to do a taste test. There we go. Ooh. 
this is cool just opens up so I'm just gonna like because it's mine no one else is gonna really eat out of this so I'm just not gonna put it in a bowl otherwise I would but I love caramel what's your favorite ice cream flavor mm. Mm, not bad. I actually really like this stuff. It almost tops, well, I think it actually tops. I love um, Dulce de Leche haagen ice cream. I think this ice cream, highly outwins that it's so much creamier so much softer i don't know i just love it it tastes better i should probably stop eating ice cream but whatever <laughs> mm. this is so good yes it does contain regular milk in this so it's not like a vegan vegan ice cream or lactose free um there is lactose in this so um, I highly, <laughs> I highly recommend this. It's called Talenti or Talenti. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's gelato, sea salt, caramel, and they have lots of other flavors. So you should go check them out because it's good. And this is the first time I've had it and I, I really like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this away. Because otherwise I'm gonna eat the whole entire container. Okay, so <clears throat> some random facts about me. I was born in Oregon, not Oregon. <laughs> Oregon, Oregon. It's the state on the west coast, uh, above California, below Washington. I go by Maddie, but my real name is Madeline. Madeline, not Madeline, Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> um, even though it's spelled like Madeline, it's Madeline. I've never gotten stung by a bee. I have never had a bloody nose. I've never broken a bone. Although I have patellar dislocation, that's when my patella dislocates. <coughs> it's very painful and it gets really swollen and it's not fun. I, it makes it really difficult to walk for a few days. Uh, the swelling usually lasts for like a week or two. Um, so in that instance, I can't run. Um, I mean, I can, but you know, then it, I risk the injury of having patellar dislocation or having my kneecap dislocate, <laughs> which is really not fun. I've had this ever since I was born. Everyone's patella has a little groove that keeps it in, in, um, in place from moving and sliding around. However, I don't have that. On top of it, my patella is completely flat. It makes it really prone to dislocation, which is, wonderful not really <laughs> it's really annoying and it's frustrating because i can't really participate in physical activities i get really anxious around like sports and like pe classes i am 24 years old i'm sure you know that from if you've seen previous videos i went to college at the university of oregon i majored in both psychology and spanish so i did a double major i originally wanted to be a therapist or some kind of social worker working with disadvantaged populations. I really loved like psychology and just the human mind and how it works. However, I kind of throughout my junior senior year of college, I was developing my own mental health issues and realized that that was just not fitting for me. I do see a therapist on a regular basis. I see a psychiatrist for medication management. So yes. <laughs> So I graduated from college from the University of Oregon in 2017. I was originally, my original plan was to go into therapy or counseling. However, that really switched. I originally thought about medical school or being PA. Uh, however, I really didn't want that. <laughs> my, par my parents are both doctors, so they, I don't know. I could say that they kind of influenced that on me and there was a little bit of pressure. 
However, I did not want to be a doctor. <laughs> I'm horrible at making decisions. I just knew that that was not really my personality, nor did it best suit what I can do and my strengths and weaknesses as a person. I really wanted to be there for my patients and I wanted to have that time with them and talk to them and advocate for them. And that's really not something a doctor does a lot of. Whereas nursing, you do. <laughs> So I feel like nursing is a great choice for me. Nursing is not really like therapy, but in some ways it kind of is. And you really, you know, you have to think about the patient, put yourself in the patient's perspective and be really empathetic and compassionate. And I really love that. And you do practice therapeutic techniques with them. And a lot of it is um, psychosocial and mental health related. So there really is that component and psychology is so important just in general. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to know so i really love like italian eatery i love pasta i eat pasta like every night it's so bad but i do <laughs> i eat pasta a lot i love like pizza um i love like the caprese mix with like the basil the mozzarella the tomato the balsamic vinaigrette and the olive oil it's just so delicious well anyways I will do, we're gonna do more of these types of questions later. And yet I don't have a water bottle. Oh, and I, I don't drink coffee. Um, that gives me a lot of anxiety. So I try to stay away from caffeine. I don't drink alcohol. I really don't drink soda. On occasion I will, but very rarely. I try to stay away from juice just because it has so much sugar in it and I mean it's better than some drink options. However, it does have a lot of added sugars that are not super great for you. That's just kind of some random facts about me. Chris, hopefully we'll get Chris on some of these videos. Um, but with his work schedule, it can be kind of tricky, kind of hard. Tonight I'm probably gonna make pasta. Oh no, actually, I'm not making pasta tonight because I had, because I had an exam today, I rewarded myself with Panera. So yeah, I get ice cream and Panera. On my way home, I stopped at Panera, which is like my favorite place. And I got a sandwich and some soup and they have really good cookies. So I got a cookie as well. And I'm gonna have that for dinner. So no, tonight I'm not making pasta. Otherwise I probably would be having an avocado with it. I like avocados, they're good. Anyway, kind of random facts, random, random talk. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, long distance is fun. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, it has its moments for sure. Um, Chris right now, he's working a 24 hour shift. And so he's pretty exhausted. Yesterday he was sleeping all day in preparation for the 24 hour shift. So hopefully he's doing well with that. Meanwhile, I have kind of a break from school because I had two exams today. Um, so I'm relaxing and he is not. So <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a caring girlfriend, aren't I? Just kidding. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day, having a beautiful week, wherever you are. Um, don't forget to stay hydrated drink water, exercise, get sleep, wear sunscreen. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.